Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I'm so excited today we are going to do a pen review for Project Life. So this today or whenever I'm posting this, I'm not sure when I'm going to post it, but I'm talking all about um, journaling and we're diving into um, what to journal, how to journal, and I thought it would be really fun to do a pen review on um, some different types of pens that I've used or that I like, and then I'm going to do a review of the Project Life pens, okay? So to start out, I just wanted to start out with the most basic option, and um, my favorite pen, it's been my favorite pen since high school, is the RSVP pen. And um, the three things that I'm going to be writing on today are the Project Life grid card. These are just the regular grid cards. This is Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock, and I do all of my printing on Whisper White cardstock. So if I have to... Um, I don't do a lot of digital printing, but if I print out a card or something, I do it on Whisper White cardstock because it's a smooth surface. And then also if I do any stamping or uh, anything like that, I use Whisper White cardstock only. And then I also have some vellum that I'm going to write on. This is a slick surface, and um, you'll find out why I'm going to be doing that in a little bit. So the RSVP pen is my absolute favorite pen, and there's nothing wrong with just grabbing a pen and doing your journaling. Okay, so you don't have to have anything fancy to do journaling in Project Life. You can just grab your favorite pen and do it. I do not know if the ink pens are acid free. I would assume that they're not because they don't say that they're acid free. So I really like the, I can't write and talk at the same time. I really like the fine, fine point. Um, that's my favorite. Okay. So writes really nice. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I usually get it in blue, but you can get it in black and it really is my go-to pen. Uh, there aren't a lot of color options with RSVP pens. You have blue, black, and I think that they do maybe like purple and pink. You can get like a special pack, but really there's not um, a whole lot of options. So the second option that I'm going to talk about that is real basic is the, this is the Ink Joy. Ink Joy by Papermate, and their commercial made me want to try these pens. Um, I, I kept seeing it and really wanted to try it. Uh, I got them at Walmart, and they were not that expensive. I paid under $3 for them. If you get them online and have them shipped to the store for free, they're like $0.87 cents a package. I really loved them because of the fun color. So they have the purple, the they have two different colored blues, and then the pink, the green, and the orange. And I just really loved the colors. This is a medium point, and I do not know if they have a fine point or not. If they do, I probably would be in love. This is um, a really great pen, a really great pen. I actually use it for all of my business stuff. So any, you know, just writing there, these are the pens that are in my office um, and just that I do writing in and everything. I'm not a color code kind of girl, like I don't need a certain pen for a certain, you know, do all these different colors and all this fancy stuff, but I actually do like that they come in the colors for Project Life purposes, or I have found in doing some business stuff that it's been nice to have the option where I didn't have that with the RSVP pens. So these are great price points, you can just pick them up, you're not going to have a problem finding them, that kind of thing. The next option that I'll just mention is my Stampin' Up! Writer Markers. Um, I only mention these because I do like the fact that they coordinate with the product that I use. So my card stocks, my inks, um, I can just coordinate because they're all the that's they're all the same color basically. So these are really great. Um, they come with a fine point pen, and then they come with a brush tip. So that makes it nice if I'm doing some stamping and I don't want to actually get out the ink pad, but I have the pen out to write with. I just use the brush tip to do my stamping. So it makes it really easy. Um, and again, they coordinate, which I really like. 
that about it and I have this set it comes you know I have the case so it makes it just super simple if I happen to be doing projects you know my album in the living room or something I can just grab my markers and that is what I tend to do oh I'll write with these I'll grab one and I'll write with them um I really like these pens I will be very honest um I have had some that that have dried up on me and um but I just re-ink them I love the way they write on uh whisper white cardstock it's my favorite to write with these on whisper white um it just really flows really nicely it really um I don't know I just really do like the way they write I don't have a problem with them they're really a fine point pen and then um, I really enjoy them. The thing is, is that what I'm finding about picking a pen to write with is it really depends on what paper you're writing on. So I have found that all of the Project Life cards are different types of paper. So while I can use one pen with one core kit and it's fine, it looks fine, it I write fine, it's okay. I can use the same pen with another core kit and the paper, do, it's not the same and it doesn't come out the same. Um, my handwriting is either really great or really awful. So there are times I like it and there's times that I don't and it really depends on the pen I'm using and the paper I'm writing on. So it's one of those things. That's why one of my goals this year is to do go back to doing some journaling on the computer and typing it. I just feel like it's worth the time for me for everything to look nice and I feel like I can gather my thoughts a little bit better than when I'm just journaling with um, paper and pen. Okay, so those are those three. So the other option that I actually got when I first started Project Life last year, when I first decided to do the full year of it, I kind of asked around to see what people were using. I really didn't want to commit to the Project Life pens. I just felt like I don't need a pen just because it says Project Life. So there's a real honest moment. I just didn't want to jump on the bandwagon of having everything under the sun that was Project Life. I felt like I could just try to make work what I had. And one of the suggestions were, um, somebody said is they liked Sharpies, which I love Sharpies. I'm, I'm a big Sharpie gal. Um, I love all the colors and I love writing with them. Um, I actually like my handwriting with them. So I went out and I made a couple purchases of just um, some big packs of Sharpies in the fine, um, the fine point, ultra fine point. And what I like about the Sharpie idea is you have a variety of colors. So they write well um, on the on the grid cards. They write fine. And especially again on the Whisper Write because it's a smooth surface. I really love the way it writes. The problem with Sharpies is they tend to bleed and they tend to dry out. So this is Sharpies. Um... So they tend to bleed and they tend to dry out a little bit. You can see that it's kind of already bled through. So I found that if I was writing on both sides, if I was using a card that I was using both sides in, it I didn't like I didn't like that it bled. Okay, so this is definitely an option. I like the color option. They're fairly reasonable. You can get a really large pack of Sharpies for around $11.99. Um, I will just keep my Sharpies around and use them. I mean, I use them some with Project Life. I do not know if they're acid-free. I would venture to say that they are probably not. It doesn't say. It's a permanent marker, so I really am not sure. If you're real worried about the acid-free situation, these might not be a good option. So the last option that I want to talk about is the Project Life. So originally I just got a small pack. These were $6.99 on Amazon. I added them to an order where I was purchasing a couple core kits and I just threw them on the order. Um, I got three of them. I got a 
a 0, 1, a 0, 3, and a 0, 5. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. These are definitely acid-free. Um, they are, they have Becky Higgins' name on them now, Project Life, and um, everything that she produces is acid-free. She has said that before. These are originally um, American Craft. Um, these pens were originally the American Craft journaling pens, um, and that's who manufactures them. So there's three different sizes, and um, I got these. I wanted to just, I actually had in mind to review them for the blog, for my blog. Um, so here is the fine, the finest point, which is the 01, and these feel much like a Sharpie. And um, I love them. Okay, so there's the, I'm going to write all three of these, and then I'll show you up close. Um... Yeah, I want to stay zoomed out so I can show you the case of the other one. So this, this is the 01. This is the 03. The 03 is my favorite. I did all of my Christmas cards and I had about 120 of them that I did. And I used the Project Life pen. This is the 05. Um, I used the Project Life pen on my cards. I wanted to give it, um, I really wanted to use it and see if it would uh, dry up, and it didn't. It just did beautifully the entire time. So here is all three of those. I don't really care for the 05, and I definitely don't care for the 08 that comes in the case. Uh, but the 01 and the 03 I like uh, quite a bit. And again, it's really beautiful. I love the way it writes on Whisper White. Whisper White is what most of my Christmas cards, it was what all my Christmas cards were done in because uh, I made my Christmas cards. And I absolutely love the way it writes on um, Whisper White cardstock and I could write forever with this pen. So there's part of me that really hates to be like, oh yeah, Project Life pen, it's the best. Um, but really, just from my experiences, all the other ones will work, but definitely I am thrilled that I got these pens. So um, I, I have the, this set, which is the 18 pen set. Um, I got this on HSN. Right now, HSN is doing 50% off, a bunch of Project Life stuff, and I decided to go ahead and try, since I, since I knew that I loved these pens after using them and getting the little pack, um, I decided that it would be worth it to go ahead and get the 18. Now, I didn't really read the description when I got these. I just was like, well, 18 pens, $9.99, that's a pretty decent deal. Um, at first I thought it probably wouldn't be worth it to spend $19.99 on this set, but actually after thinking about it, these were $6.99 and then I had free shipping and I love them, but you only get one each of each, uh, size. So if you were to get two, so you could have two of each size, that's going to end up costing you about $14. So by just spending another five, you're getting a massive amount more of the pens. So really, probably $19.99 for this set is actually a pretty reasonable price. And definitely right now, if you can go over to HSN and pick these up for $9.99, um, I, I would highly recommend it. So here's the deal of why I was so excited when I got these. So I just purchased them. I purchased a couple things. I didn't really think about it or look at it. I just made the purchase and went on with my business, got these in the mail, opened them up to look at them, and was pretty excited. So this is not how they are normally organized in the case. I had to put them back in here because I tore everything up in the beginning. But I wanted you to see them in the case because originally there was like a, two, a red one here and then a red one here and then two blue ones, two blue ones, and they kind of like moved in to the middle. And then these two right here were in the middle and I kind of didn't get it. I was like, well, okay, so these are different colors. So I started looking at them and realized, yes, you get red, blue, and brown. You get, in the red, you get a 03 and a 05. 
In the blue, you get a 0, 3, two zero threes and two zero fives. In the brown, you get a 0, 3, and a 0, 5. And then in the black, you get two each of each size. So the 0, 1, the 0, 3, the 0, 5, and the 0, 8, you're getting two of. So then I realized that these right here are slick writers. So I have been wanting a slick writing, a slick writer pen forever. Okay, so I just have never gone out of my way to get it. I'm not in craft stores, so I, I'm never somewhere where I can pick one up, and I just didn't make the effort to go online to get it. So when I realized that two Slick Writers came with this, I was over the moon. Um, so it's a really great um, variety. Uh, I don't really care for, I don't know why I would use the red. This red reminds me of like a school teacher, like correcting a paper. And I'm not sure that I will ever use the red, the blue and the brown, probably I could see myself using. So I did, uh, I wrote with all of them except for the eight. So I'll go ahead and write with the eight. Maybe I'll write with the blue and brown just to show you guys. So this is the 08 and again I just I really don't care for it it's not my favorite we'll do 03 with the brown blue and red the brown is a nice color I actually really like it this is 03 it's not a real dark brown Let's do the blue. The blue looks like just a really classic blue. And then let's just go ahead and do this red and then I'll show you guys. So this is the red. Oh yeah, that's like school red. Okay, so that is those. So here's the eight. You can see it's much like the five, just a lot thicker. And then that is the brown, the blue, and the red. The brown's not coming up all that great because of my lighting, but you can see that those are the three colors. So then here is the slick writer. So the great thing about a slick writer is it writes on slick surfaces. That's the name. That was a far stretch, huh? Um, probably didn't know what it was. Slick writer. No, really, honestly, I've been wanting one of these. You can write on photos. I have vellum right here that we're going to write on. And I love this. I mean, this is amazing. So this is the fine. And you can see it doesn't smear. So that's just written right over it. It doesn't come off. It doesn't smear. This is the medium point. I don't really care for the medium point again, but it would work. So I was ecstatic to see those in this case. Totally worth getting, you guys, really, honestly. So what I will probably do is, I. this is what I did. <laughs> That's why I had to reorganize them, is... I'll just take the little plastic case out and I'll store all my pens together and then I'll keep them in this case and I'll store them right on the shelf just like this or like this so that they're flat and not up and down but I really really loved it um, I'm really happy that I got this and you'll definitely be seeing me use this more in my upcoming project life. And um, you'll probably hear me talk more about when I'm using the pens with different core kits, if it works well with that core kit, that paper or not. Um, I don't know if the paper is just different in some core kits because recently they've been changing over to American Crafts. So they're now manufactured by American Crafts when they used to not be. So we could be seeing like just some transition in the paper, but either way, I'll definitely be letting you guys know 
um, how I like it as I use core kits with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, pen review. Let me know if you have any questions and I would love to know what you use to do your journaling for Project Life. Do you use a different kind of pen than I mentioned? I would love to even know so I could get it and try it out. I'm a huge pen fan, love pens, and would love to try them out or hear what you guys are using. So thanks guys and I will talk to you later.